Lick it down with the tool in his pan. Now I'm a ladies, let me see it vibrate. And when it's over, you ain't gonna need your bow. Cause I'm a pro, make you bend your back low. Then the pound of real bad, just like the purple lady. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, first off, let's give a round of applause to the Iguanas on uh, Gall and Key for helping us out with the intro. And uh, this is going to kind of kick off another series of videos that we have. Uh, they're going to be the Bahamas, obviously. And um, let's let's see what that really means. All right, just to catch everybody up on geography, uh, this is Florida right here. These are the Florida Keys. This is Cuba down here, and that means this whole chain right here is the Bahamas. So what Debbie and I are doing is a pretty plain vanilla, a pretty standard cruise, all right? So we're heading over from Miami, you get to Bimini, you get all excited. Hey, we're in the Bahamas. But really, you're going to go another 90 miles to Chub Key, another 45 to Nassau, another 45, and you're going to be in the Exumas. All right, so we spent the first uh, about five weeks heading down and back up the Exuma chain. Very common because you want to go to as far south as possible in the winter when it's the coldest, right? And then uh, the you know, March, April time frame, we're going to come up with the second half of our three-month cruising permit up here in the Abacos. So this is the Exuma Island chain. And it basically separates this part of the ocean, which is like 5,000 feet deep, from the bank, which is like 15 feet deep. And as you zoom in, you can see... There's lots and lots of little islands that make up the Exuma Island chain. So the ocean side, or the east side of the island chain, is characterized by a lot of tall kind of cliffs on jagged or semi-crumbly rock. So it was a little bit spooky filming this particular video because I was right out near the edge, and you never know when the next chunk of this island is going to fall into the water. And this is the Bahamas. There's no rules, and there's no safety net. So I put the drone up to give you a little more uh, footage of the, of the rocky coast. However, bonus footage here, you get to see what I consider to be the greatest blowhole in the Bahamas. That's like a, a, a hole that's connected to the ocean. So on rough days, the water comes in, poosh, it shoots water up through the blowhole. So I was hovering over this thing about five minutes and uh, eventually I decided to leave. And I'm really glad I did because, poosh, like I think that one there might have uh, drenched the drone in salt water not good so the weekend we were in black point was kind of neat because it was the bahamas gathering uh 125 boats in the harbor and uh a lot of activities planned a lot of the locals came as well so it was kind of cool meeting them and uh just everybody's in the same position as life they're just cruising up and down the exumas and you can talk to as many or as few people as you want all day long and so this video is just to give you a little bit of context, just so you understand what Debbie and I are doing right now, and kind of set the stage for some of the videos that come up, and I got some good ones. Yeah. 